what are cracks. As the name suggests, crack will put uh, cracks in our terrain. The default look may look absurd. So if you see in the 2D view and turn the uh, raw data, you can see that all these white areas, these are our cracks. And to visualize it better, you can invert it and see. So if you imagine the white being our terrain, then black will be the cracks that will be in our terrain. So let's talk about the uh, crack properties. So for this style, it has three types of uh, cracks, normal, hard and classic. Uh, with hard, we see that we get a hard mass. And with normal, we'll get uh, some gentle slopes around the cracks. And classic is uh, the old version of cracks, which was in the previous version of Gaia. Now let's talk about octaves. So octave means how many patterns of cracks are generated. So if we increase the octaves, then there will be more and more cracks. So scale will determine how big our cracks are. So higher the scale, the bigger our cracks are. And lower the scale, the lower our cracks are. And you can also go into advanced setting and increase scale from right here. So if you increase the scale, then there will be more and more cracks. And you can go up to 100 with this. So let's reset this. So with the depth, uh, the higher the depth value, the deeper the cracks are and the other way around for uh, lower depth. So with jitter, the higher the jitter, the more our cracks are uh, displaced or I'd say non-uniform. With less jitter, we'll get more uniform cracks and we have built-in warp in our cracks. It does not have all the functionality of warp but we'll get the main settings so is the warp strength and warp size we can increase warp and our cracks will start to warp and we can you know decrease warp size and uh, have more rough cracks with seed we can change the variation of our cracks now let's talk about some of the basic techniques that we use cracks for so the most basic would be to directly add attached to it to our terrain so let's say we have our, our hill and if we attach cracks to it invert this now if you apply cracks directly to it we'll get a cracked surface we can of course since this is a hard mass we can go ahead and clamp it this will pretty much destroy all of our details in our terrain so another method is to use it as a combine so we will so we'll reset the invert and clamp so with our combine if we can subtract this from our terrain with a low ratio and we'll we can control how much it is affecting our terrain so if we go let's say one so we get some nice looking cracks and now if these cracks are not to your liking, then we can use uh, another warp externally. And now we get some non-uniform cracks. To get even more complex cracks, we can use multiple cracks. So let's say we have this. So let's increase the scales. We have some big cracks and now we can take cracks and now we have these uh, sort of medium cracks and we can maybe take another crack now we have lower details for our cracks now we can combine all of them using a multi combine we take multi combine and connect all those and now if we were to now if we were to subtract it from our terrain now we get even more complex cracks than before now of course we can I use another warp here and we can add some more complexity to it and that is all about our cracks